Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Monster Train. Let's play another run. And no Awoken. I will I will re-roll if we get Awoken. I feel like we've done a lot of that. I think we'll re-roll. But, uh... Hey, good. Umbra Stygian Guard. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. A Tumber Assault is one of the best starting cards you can get as Umbra. Hands down. You need something that can kill backline units, and Umbra has very few targeted spells, so we can actually kill support units now and get a morsel benefit from it. It's one of the best starting cards. Yilko Crystalis, it's a spell that does damage. I accept it. We have Sap, Seraph, Crucible Extension, honestly not that bad if you can make it hold over and make it cost one, or maybe you get the spell enhancement, you can make it free. It's fine. If you have the energy for it, you can make the capacity bigger, but I don't like this in particular because it's very expensive. I'd much prefer Space Prisms, but, you know, don't have a choice. But a Tumbra Assault makes me really happy for this run. I feel like we immediately have a good shot. Oof. Oof. What a choice. You get a Morsel Miner each floor at the start of each battle. Plus five, plus five. Or cheap units. I think you go cheap units because there are a lot of expensive Umbra units. You've got the Morsel Maker that costs two. You've got your Shadow Siege, which costs six. Now it'll cost four. You have your uh, Robot Mech Dude, who costs two. You have Shadow Eater, which costs two. You have a lot of expensive units. This is gonna make them significantly more playable. And we can build morsels with our um, Atumber Assault. So I don't think we need Commemorative Spike. I think I'd rather have cheaper units, because now our spells are more playable as well. Summon or Lifesteal Gorge? I think you go Lifesteal Gorge. Dun 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 dun. Forever Flame, Shadow Siege, win rate it was so high they... Wait, go Forever Flame and tank Shadow Siege's win rate so they stop nerfing him, says Alpha Wolves Gamer. <laughs> Is he really that strong? I mean, he's pretty pretty good. He's a, what, 200, 150? Bigger than a Demon Fiend. He's better than a, a consumer of crowns. Anyways, what the heck do you play here? We're not, interestingly enough, I don't think we play Penumbra at the bottom because we're not healing due to the Disciple Protector. Because they have 25 armor, Lifesteal is not gonna trigger. Even if we had Sweep, it wouldn't tr trigger. So I don't think you play Penumbra at the bottom. I think you play Penumbra uh, maybe at the top to give them as many turns of buffing as possible. And ideally, we'll play like an Atumbra Assault to kill these units. So I think we wanna stall. I don't mind putting a Train Steward down just to kill him. We'll place him here, obviously. But um, we want to stall for our Tumbra Assault so we can actually do some damage. Or Helical Crystalis. You know, that's good too. I was going to say, why do we have four energy? I, I understand why we have, we have four energy. Um, I'll be honest. I think you stay. I think I ice you. Now you're dead. So a Tumbra Assaults can attack these units. Um, I do have those in the deck, right? Yeah, okay. You know, we'll, we'll get them. We'll get them one day. Lifesteal on the champion is OP as hell. Uh, we have one train steward coming up. I'll put it, I'll put you at the bottom. And there's my Atumbra Assault. So we'll play you. All of a sudden we got some morsels, including a morsel miner. So already I think the boss is dead. I don't think they're gonna make it up at all. We're gonna get a weight of contrition every turn, which doesn't really bother me too much. Honestly, I kinda just wanna, you know, put the capacity up there. I don't even think the spell's worth playing. Now, this is an interesting turn. We're not gonna get, I can't even play a Tumber Assault. Well, you better just play a Shade Splitter then. I was gonna say we could uh, kill a Morsel to get more Morsels, but the energy is a little bit funky. But it doesn't matter, I mean, you're, you're toast. I have a 50-50 champion, and you have 150 health. You're not making it through. 
Okay, well, Space Prism is better capacity upgrades. I still think we're probably going to take capacity as our first option, especially as we take more, uh, more Gorge minions. So I think we go Packed Morsels for the immediate gorging. I don't think we need a spell. We already have two Helical Crystalluses, we don't need another one. AoE... Support units are a problem. We could make this cost negative two. And then it's a very good support spell. Yeah? Okay, you know... I actually like that. I, I like the idea of making this a, a support killer spell. What I'm, what I'm realizing in Monster Train is that I need to focus a little bit more on building around what I suspect the weaknesses will be in the future. Like right now, we have a Gorge Champion. They can kill a single high HP unit very easily. What we need to do is kill support units. What we need to do is have targeted spells. I think that an AoE unit that costs one would kill a lot of support units and help us significantly. Cold Celia, Morsel Master, Nameless Siren. I think you want to duplicate Morsels. It's a great card. Legit submitted three different bugs related to Lifesteal that was replied with thanks for the feedback. I just pressed F8. F8. You can just do this. Um, so I think we want a, another Umbra unit. I would like another Gorge unit. Could also do with spell upgrades, but what would we upgrade? I mean, Titan's Tooth, yes, but if we could get like a good Umbra Gorge unit and upgrade them, that'd be fantastic. And that would, that would carry us for quite a while. We can actually do like spell upgrades next. Well, well, we, we could wait and do unit upgrades down here. We're not going to get a banner, though. That's, that's Daedalus. Remove two cards, Pyre Health, upgrade spells. I like upgrading spells here. I do like the free artifact, though. Um... So I might, go, I might go right, left, right. So yeah, let's get an Umbra unit and maybe get some upgrades on him. Okay, well. I mean, Shadow Eater is worth playing now because he's so cheap. But I still think Crucible Collector is better. The, the, the lifesteal is insane. We, we need this, I think. <laughs> we don't need quickness, though. Um, we don't really need a battle stone. We don't really need armor. <laughs> The, uh, the extra health does help the Crucible Collector, but I'd much rather put, like, plus 10, plus 25 on him. But I'm gonna give him an, an upgrade anyways, just to give him an upgrade. I guess we could reroll, but we can't afford large stone. Dun, dun, dun. But maybe we'd get, like, a better... I'd rather save the money for a purge. Let's just give him a 510 and then uh, purge some of these Frozen Lances, which are just trash. I mean, Helical Chrysalis is significantly better. We could also encant armor on like the Morsel Master or something, but the only thing we really have to worry about is uh, Spikes and Sweep, which admittedly is a little annoying, but you know, actually, now that I think about it, sure, let's give you one armor for an encant. We can just play our Shade Splitters up there. May, and maybe it'll keep him alive on a sweep or something. So, garbage cards. 245, 8, 240. Armor 10 doesn't really bother me too much. The um, Atumbra Assaults are going to be significantly harder to kill with, but we can always kill our own morsels. And for a unit, I don't, I don't expect us to take Pyre damage from this because our units are actually pretty decent right now. Dun. Monster Train, what's this? Nero, if you've never seen Monster Train, make sure you check out my YouTube because I have Monster Train videos up there. Um, but the game is real fun. And highly enjoyable, and I would very much recommend it. I think this is a fight where we actually start at the bottom. And thanks to having cheap units, I can, I can actually play, you know, a significant number of spells. And uh, we can kill you with an Atumbra Assault as you move up. 
well, I want to kill you, so we're gonna have to play this. But we have a lot of energy this turn, which is great. You are going to die. I will just play this. We're not healing because, again, uh, the armor is protecting that unit. We don't have a lot of opportunities to gorge on this fight because it's so slow, but um, we'll still make it work. And I will still Otumber Assault to get Morsels. Like, I really think you just should. We're gonna lose one Lifesteal Morsel, but then we get, you know, two Morsels for this guy, and he's gonna get a whole bunch of light, a whole bunch of, uh, of Lifesteal triggers. We like it. You're taking 143. Very, very close to being dead. Uh, two Lifesteal probably does it. Yeah, okay. Play you, play you. Let's give you more armor. The armor is actually, you know, mattering to a small degree. End turn. It was close, but that, you know, two lifesteal really did help. And I like having that morsel duplicator out there, because he can duplicate the good morsels when you play them. Minus one capacity plus energy. I think we'll just take another packed morsels. I don't really want low capacity on any floor as Umbra because of the fact that we really need to play as many morsels as possible. Now, if we had a morsel maker and we were making four morsels every turn, then maybe we could put this on the champion's floor and then just let them do their own thing. But we would still like to put lifesteal on the champion at some point, and we don't have that lifesteal card. We chose not to take it earlier. But packed morsels, just creating morsels for the gorge, I do like it. Another Atumbra Assault is also a good pickup, but it's hard to make it work late game without having at least five damage. We might luck into some uh, some magic power up. But with Sap Seraph, I'm pretty sure we're gonna find those 15 times two with five health minions. So we need to buff all of the Atumbra Assaults to make them deal at least five damage somehow. Ah, <sighs> but you know what? I always regret not having, you know, targeted damage dealing, so we'll take it. I don't think we'll need a Titan's Tooth. I don't think we need Ice Tornado. We might just take nothing here. Like another Titan's Tooth is good, but we have to upgrade the one that we have already. Okay, well. Yeah, I mean, you, you still like this, like on the, uh, the floor with the Gorge unit. Sweep is good. The encant for the draw is quite nice. I, I actually like this because it's free as well. So you can get a lot of draw quickly. And you know what? If we if we play this, we could just take energy as our rewards, and then we can incant very quickly on a fight to get a, to get a whole bunch done on a turn. Morsel Maker is interesting, but I think Offering Monument could be pretty good. <laughs> you need to guild it. <laughs> good temporary tank. It does have 40 health. And you know what? The minus 5 HP when you encant um, only affects maximum health, not current health. And we can also improve the health of the Offering Monument and make it endless. You know what? Well, actually, will the incant, will the um, incant health reduction still work on the unit if it's endless? I don't know. But we can, we can give it a shot, honestly. Uh, I don't think we really want to duplicate anything right now. Crucible Collector maybe, but I would like to get another unit. So maybe we just go right path in order to heal and then maybe get an upgrade. And then we can see what's in the Frozen Hell Vent. If we're gonna duplicate five times, what would we duplicate? Almost nothing. Let's check real quick though. Endless Offering Monument does come back with one HP. I, I kind of expected that, so I'm, I'm glad I asked. I'm glad I asked. I always get multi-strike when I have no, no value for it. 
Um, I don't think we'll be able to get a unit off of that, but let's, um, let's health up the Offering Monument. Let's damage up the Crucible Collector, I think. No, I want you to have, like, large. Or raw health. You don't really need raw health, but you have very low health on your own. I really want to save up for, like, a large. Let's, um, let's do the cavern. Monster a spell. I wouldn't mind making the Frozen Lands purge, but also these train stewards gotta go at some point. But because the train stewards are free, I think we will purge a Frozen Lands instead. We saw a run going infinite using that specific combination. You can reform it to bring it back with more health, though. Mmm. Very interesting. I actually am tempted to reroll, but again, I want large stone on this crucible man. Or just more raw health. Let's reroll. I mean, damage shield also helps to keep him alive until you can get the lifesteal going. I would prefer the plus 25 health, though. We're gonna upgrade him again later. Let's just let him go. Let's let him go and let's give you plus 10 attack. That way I'm, I'm feeling like I'm actually benefiting from this, uh, from this, you know, interstitial floor here. We didn't really do all that much, but wasn't a lot to do. Don't have a lot of money. I don't care about unit drafts. Give me the, uh, the plus 20 gold whenever possible, please. So Crucible Collector, you're small. You can actually fit here. And I like you being there because these units will deal less damage as they move up. Now I can just, I could actually just wipe two of them, so let's do that. You deal 20 damage, that's scary. I mean, we could put the Crucible Collector down, we could put Penumbra down, let's put Penumbra at the bottom. You know what? I thought about it for a second. We're gonna gorge anyways. And we still got more life steal. although we're dead, so we're gonna have to do something about this. Oh, hey, look. We can do something about this. We need capacity, weirdly enough, because we want to play Morsel Master down here. We could play Morsel Master here, though, and get double Morsels, so it's not that bad. But weirdly enough, we actually desperately need a tank. So there's our tank. We'll ice the bomb. It's a ba bomb I would like to get... Crucible extension, but if I keep drawing now, we won't be able to play it. So I'm just gonna let you tank some hits, and oh, you know what? You're gonna gorge. Well, in that case, let's get you killed like as quickly as possible. which I guess we just have to wait for you to die and then we have to gorge again. I screwed this up a little bit, didn't I? But at least we can still, you know, get some value out of this. <laughs> you gotta go. Well, we're, we're actually living through this, so let's kill one of you instead. We could damage shield the the totem. Man, this is screwed. I've, I've messed it up something fierce. The Offering Monument needs to be at the back. Like, it's a tank, but we're gorged. We need to put, like, this guy at the top or something. Well, weirdly enough, if I play one of you, I get kills. So let's make our Offering Monument attack. <laughs> we'll give you health and attack. Hello. We'll give one of you a damage shield, I suppose and turn. You know, it's good to figure this out now. You know, Daedalus is not that difficult of a fight. Let's let's learn the ins and out of what we're doing wrong and we'll we'll fix it later. You do 26 damage. Might as well put you there and turn. I mean, it's a good tank. It'll die faster on other fights, but uh, still. <laughs> You're taking 23? I mean, look, I need you to die.
Keep one more, one more. Oh, no, now it's taking two damage. I did it incorrectly. Look, that's fine. We got a lot of morsels. Now, do I give you life steal? <laughs> you know what? Have some life steal, totem pole. I don't know how it's gonna affect you at all. Good luck. At least we're gorging everywhere. You're taking a 189. That's not that much. Also, I can probably kill you now, which we should desperately try to make happen. We can make it happen. My god, he's done it. Um, I would like to Atumbra Assault a Morsel to get more Morsels. So let's do that. Let's play the... It's all just Energy Morsels! But let's play the Energy Morsels, I guess. And then we'll kill one of them. This will also kill the pole. The pole. The totem pole. Then we'll uh, give two more lifesteal to our champion, and now you're taking 306 damage. Fantastic. You're gonna get the kill, Crucible Collector. Lizard Man, hello, welcome. How you doing? Hey, it's a morsel. Hey, it's an energy morsel. Two morsel miners, my god. What luck. Okay, so we, we've learned our lesson. That, that offering totem cannot go in the front. Dun, 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 dun. I've been taking Ancient Synergy a lot, and it's a great card. Harness the Titan, though, is also great for making a Tumbra Assaults better. Like, if we can make this card freeze, then we can play it when we have an Atumbra Assault in hand. I actually kind of like that. Now, Ancient Synergy for the damage is nice, but maybe we can make Atumbra Assaults better by making this card freeze. Now, we'd have to draw, you know, multiple Atumbra's Assaults at the same time to make it really valuable, but... You know, let's not do that. We, we don't have a lot of damage spells. We'll take Ancient Synergy. We'll make it one. Good for killing a big unit. Now, do you take another Morsel Master, or do you take a Guard of the un Unnamed? The Gorge units tend to be guarding anyways. We could take a Morsel Maker and put it on the floor of the Crucible Collector. He'll get two damage shield every turn, which is, or two life steal every turn, which is great. We could put a Morsel Master up there. I think we're gonna go Morsel Maker. And I think we're gonna go Energy. I think we're gonna try to draw with spells with that Offering Totem and see what happens. Here's the question, but where do you go? <laughs> we can heal the Pyre to full and upgrade spells minorly or get a free artifact, a unit that we're probably going to ignore and cash. I like the idea of getting cash. I also like the idea of moving, removing cards, I should say. Like removing frozen lances. And you know, at least making something cheaper. Let's um, let's go left though. I I I do like the gold, so we can have a better shop later. And dude, this is so good. <laughs> Hell's banners with the offering totem, and playing morsels. We're gonna be able to draw so many cards. I actually love this. Now we could build an encant floor with the guard. I think we need another unit. I don't really want to take one of these, though. But, like, we can build an encant floor with the offering totem and then just get a lot of armor. I'll take it. It's wonky, but we're gonna be drawing a whole bunch anyways. Now, I will also say the uh, capacity is interesting, but I'm just gonna take the better gorge. I think it's better. Bum, 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 bum. Spell shield two. Sucks. A whole bunch. Why are we doing it anyways? Because why not? <laughs> oh lord. I cut myself out because I had to burp. I'm being nice. 
Uh, so, you're not gonna heal at all, but you're only taking one damage. We're gonna duplicate morsels. We're gonna encant. And we're gonna encant on floor two. That way we have more capacity for um, Crucible Collector up there. We'll encant and encant. Livesteal two. I think you want this on, on the champion. Could give you health, but let's get a, a morsel up here for the Crucible Collector anyways. I hate that you're umming up there. You know, tell you what, you can um up here. Am I really not gonna get? I'm really not gonna get more card draw out of this, huh? Still should have played the totem down here, because then we could have drawn a meat. Yeah, put the totem here at the back. And then you can encant armor on this guy. Okay, you know what? Lesson learned, lesson learned. Again, we're, we're, we're feeling out what works and what doesn't work. I'm, I'm understanding the mistakes that are being made. Let's get the Crucible Collector down. He's dazed, but he'll do good work next turn. Let's start drawing. This is actually fine. We're gonna get a lot of energy, let's just play this. So, put down the morsel, it's gonna get duplicated. Kill the morsel. Ooh, yes, duplicate this one. All of a sudden, we got four energy. We can play more cards. This doesn't do anything, but it will kill this unit with the, uh, the frostbite. We might wanna play it somewhere else though, but I do wanna get these garbage cards out of this, out of the, the situation, you know? You're actually gonna tank a hit if I put you at the front. Might be worth playing it down here to, to kill two units. Let you hit the pyre for one, because the frostbite will still apply. Again, we could have played it at the top to draw, and we really need, do need to, which means we really should have it on the same floor as the champion. I'm realizing that as time goes on, I'm realizing that we're, we're doing that slightly incorrectly. Put you up here. It's gonna take two turns before you draw anything, but that's okay. Keep drawing. Energy and energy, huh? Well. You're gonna make it to the pyre. I can't kill the unit in the back, so we need to draw. And we're out of, we're out of spells. Well, you know, that's fine. We could have had significantly more value out of this uh, this offering totem had we played him in a, in a different spot. We have seven energy. We have seven energy, huh? We can probably afford to play that then. Uh, you know, I would like to get lifesteal. So let's double this morsel, kill it. Double the lifesteal morsel. We have eight energy, which is ridiculous. We'll play a health morsel. That doesn't ice it. Crap. Crap. We'll ice you. Gotta love the morsel miner. No capacity for it. We, we need to go capacity. I, I realized my mistake. <laughs> my mistake being, uh, oh right. We're trying to build a uh, a gorge deck, we need to actually have the ability to play units. And I just, I let that floor die, I don't care. You're dead, fantastic. We took like 10 pyre damage, it's not that bad. Okay, double up on a unit that has one health. I always make that mistake, but when you upgrade the Atumbra Assault, it doesn't matter. It only matters now. Oh, plus five, plus five times two? Yes, please. Just end turn. We're good. Okay, so we've learned. We now, I think, fully understand what we need. 
And I think what we need is another Crucible extension, believe it or not. We have the energy for it. We need these to play co more capacity and more morsels on the gorge floors. Don't really care about this. The Mollusk Mage is interesting because you can actually get more kills with the Atumbra Assault. And it's a free unit? I'll take it. It's not a it's not a unit draft. As a result, it's not going to uh, take up the unit draft card draw that would otherwise be taken up. So I kind of like it. And I'm not going to get unit upgrades. I'm actually going to go straight for spell upgrades. I think we need them. Hold over, ideally. A Tumbra Assault getting better. Negative one on. Let's make a Crucible Extension one. Because if I can make Cru Crucible Extension one and hold over, that'd be perfect. <laughs> I wouldn't mind making this not consume, but we have morsel enablers now. Permafrost is not what I'm looking for. We can at least freeze a card. I think we should spend the money. Oh, plus 10 magic power on another Atumbra Assault, let's go! We'll upgrade the other Crucible extension. Uh, well, Permafrost either Ancient Synergy or Titan's Tooth. I think we'll Permafrost the Titan's Tooth. We could also Permafrost the the bad Atumbra Assault. That way we can play it for, for better value if it can't kill a unit. But I'm still probably going to play it as soon as we get it because it's such a good spell. Uh, uh, let's, get, um, let's get the Titan's Tooth frosted. <laughs> It fits thematically speaking, and we're probably going to want it to, uh... to ice a whole bunch of uh, garbage units that we can't otherwise kill ourselves. Garbage support units. Stealth boss. Uh, sucks. Sucks a whole bunch. We're going to want to find a way to get a whole bunch of damage shield out. We can do the trial. We'll take Pyre damage. We have a, a hundred Pyre health, that's fine. So how are we gonna get around stealth? Well, having the Crucible Warden would have been nice. Remember, you go at the back, you go at the front. Start playing spells. This means you take more damage up there. We can AoE kill you guys. Let's just ice you. You know, we're getting quite a lot of value out of this. <laughs> I mean, it kind of sucks because we have too many morsels now, but I mean, we did a good job on the floor and I'm still hoping we can like draw a crucible extension at some point. Um, weirdly enough, I think that this is perfectly okay. We could play you up here or down here. Let's play you down here, because I can actually get multiple kills this way, believe it or not. Now two enemies are dying. Now three enemies are dying. <gasps> hey, GT Quirk, thank you very much for the resub for nine months. I think we kill our own morsel. Oh no, because I'm, I want to draw. Because if we kill our own morsel, maybe we can get a another morsel or something. I think we want draw though, so let's get draw. Damn it, <laughs> too expensive. But that was still a pretty decent floor. There's six damage. Um, ideally, we'll kill these units up here on this turn. Never mind, we won't. So let's draw. Got to be played. Uh, we want a morsel duplicator. And then we want to duplicate two morsels. Then we can keep playing spells. Okay, I, I really like... I really like the uh, Titan's Tooth up here. I, or, you know what? Helical Crystallis is cheaper. We get more value playing Helical Crystallis here, but we can always just... You know, dump a morsel in front of this guy and at least do 10 damage with lifesteal. Well, the lifesteal isn't going to do anything. Well, no, we, we can make it do damage. 
It's funky, but we can make it do damage. Let's get the Crucible Collector up. Let's get the Morsel Maker up. So we can gorge out of his gourd. Let's stop the Pyre from taking damage. You're gonna, you're probably gonna hit the Pyre. I, I really don't think there's anything I can do about that. So we might want to Titan's Tooth you. I, I think it's okay on this if we don't encant anymore. So what this is, is Rubble Morsel, Damage Morsel from the Magma, then we're punching through the armor and we're actually uh, applying some lifesteal. Should have played you up here. That was dumb. You'll be fine, but that was still a little silly. Play this, and uh, I mean, we could play this here for pretty good value. We get a couple of kills. Um, or we could play it here to, to wound this guy as he makes it up. I think you get more value here, though. We drew a bad Atumbra Assault, I, I don't care that much. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We're still gonna be playing uh, minions, so we can we can do this and get energy. Wish Jade Splitters, definitely. And I, I do still like the Mollusk Mage down here. We could put the Mollusk Mage up here and do more damage, and the Morsel Maker is gonna be summoning Morsels every turn anyways. Cause we gotta ice some units as they make it up. Like, seriously, we're, we're taking fire damage. You're taking 30. You're fine. You I gotta deal with. You know what? Give me the give me the mollusk. Give me the helical. You're gonna hit the pyre once. You're gonna hit the pyre none. You guys are a little bit of a problem, but we're we're still drawn. Kind of bad morseling here, but we'll just do this. You're you're, you're gaining armor. Nothing I can do. We're gonna draw a train steward. Let's draw through the deck then. He gave you more armor. <laughs> Great. And we could have played the Morsel with our champion. Okay, we have seven energy. The energy is getting out of control, which is fantastic. We we can't draw anymore, I'm realizing. Our, our guy is dead, so this is our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven energy and we can play everything. So, I mean, that's pretty freaking good. So let's play Ancient Synergy here. Helical here. Uh, if we kill you, then we're not dying, and you'll die next turn. Yeah, I think so. Shade Splitter, might as well you know, get an encant out of it. You can encant armor or armor three. It's armor three. You're making it up, scary. Let's get more health, because we know what minion is actually coming up soon. Give you more health. You gain so much armor off of that, though. It's ridiculous. You're dead. You need to get torched. Now you're taking 34. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Good stuff. I would like to prevent this guy from hitting the pyre. If we can kill you, that'd be fantastic. I don't think it's gonna happen, though. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I could put units in front to tank hits, and it would it would stall, but that's about it. I, I think that you're probably not gonna make it past the, the Crucible Collector. You're gonna hit the pyre, nothing I can do about that. I don't think you're gonna make it past the uh, Crucible Collector. I think that our Life steal is gonna mean that that we kill you before you kill us. Although it is scary, I think we just need to stall as much as possible and then maybe try to do some damage on this floor. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. <sighs> Gotta think. We could kill our own 
morsels and get better morsels. I mean, I, I, I guess we, we need damage morsels, right? Damage shield morsels. Health morsels are also okay. Let's, um, actually don't want to duplicate this morsel. I'd rather... Because we're doing no damage. I might, I might as well um, not duplicate it down here and save room for more duplications. That doesn't really make any sense, though. I'll do it anyways. Put you here. I see ya. You're gonna hit the pyre, right? Yeah, you're gonna hit the pyre like three or four times. It is what it is. Okay, we got more health morsels, which is which is good. You might as well go in front to tank a hit. And then you might as well get more health on the champion. Hopefully try to just like get one more turn of stealth off of him. We knew that this was happening though. You know, we knew that that was gonna be a problem. Crucible extension. We might be able to play a unit up here if we get some crucible extensions up, but if we play a crucible extension here, we can get some stuff played on this floor. So like, we could play another train steward or we could just play some morsels. All of the stealth is gone and we got hit three times. Honestly, that's not that bad. I think that was perfectly acceptable. Now you're taking 43. I don't really wanna kill my train steward. Let's get more morsels. We'll have one tank a hit. Do some damage. I think we're gonna be perfectly okay. It just looks scary. You're dead, fantastic. Let's, let's seal the deal. A couple of units made it through, which tells me that we need more damage, but ideally I would take some like multi-strike units like that alloyed construct, but we haven't gotten them yet. We need more damage though. We have to take more damage some somehow. We could descend units and make a big floor, but with um it, it's hard to play morsels if we do this. We could make enemy units take longer to get up. <laughs> we could we could keep enemy units like perpetually on a floor but then they would just build up forever and would be unkillable. So I don't think you take Kaven, as funny as that is. Um, it is nice to like compress a floor for the final fight. You know, it's actually really nice to compress a floor for the final fight. You can put your champion behind the Crucible Collector if you build correctly, you can just freeze this card. We need a way of killing bosses. We don't have enough right now. I think putting the champion behind the Crucible Collector would be enough to kill Fel and Seraph. So if we can freeze this card, I think that's good enough. Cuddle Hex can freeze cards. Prevents you from drawing them in the future. I kinda like it. And I also, you know, I like these, these cheap ass Units that don't really affect our card draw. You know, they're not actually a, a unit draft. They're just a, a, a pack of cards. I don't really want to discard. Ice Storm. We don't have magic power. I think I'll take a Cuddle Hex. Because now I, I can freeze that cave -in card, I hope. But man, this run is all sorts of wonky. And now I'm thinking, what if you duplicate the Offering Monument? <laughs> and you get absurd draw. Add a morsel each turn. I mean, that's half of three energy, so there you go. Uh, let's duplicate the Offering Monument so we can get absurd draw. And we are in desperate need of capacity. But I kind of like this. I kind of think this will work. Because <clears throat> energy is not a problem. It's 
So it's gotta be Penumbra. At the bottom is fine, we're gonna live. Your armor fell. Everything in hand is zero. Do you see this? So we'll we'll start the draw train. Okay, you know. Okay. 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 Good enough. You know, we we <laughs> we drew pretty well. Um, we'll give you a life steal. We'll give you a damage shield is probably good to keep you alive for a little longer. If we're gonna cave in, oh, you know what? No, again, again you, let's figure out what's wrong on these easier fights. We need to put the champion on a higher floor so we can lower the champion behind the Crucible Collector. I don't think it's gonna matter on Fell, but it's worth keeping in mind because one Titan's Tooth will kill all these units. I'm not that worried about them, but we do have to keep that in mind because we could lower the Crucible Collector behind the Penumbra Champion, but I don't think it's gonna matter against Fell. Um, so where do you place the guard right now? Uh, Cuddle Hex is one capacity, and then you got these jerks. Let's put you here. Let's give you a damage shield. We'll put these morsels at the top. We'll feast on them later. So the cave-in is not really gonna be that helpful, but that's okay. Are you spell? Well, we still gotta do it, especially with two offering monuments. So there we go. We do wanna play the Titan's Tooth up here though, and we are gonna play minions, so I think it's okay. Are we gonna draw the other Crucible extension? I really hope so. Um, let's ice all of you. Fantastic. Let's play some spells. We get two card draw off of that, fantastic. You have two spell shield. You're not dead. You're making it up. Kinda blows. Kinda blows a little bit, huh? Uh, let's keep drawing. We get Cuddle Hex, we can freeze a card now. Might as well have you in front. We could draw again, but if we draw again, we can't play spells. So I think... I think we don't play Morsel Master, and instead we uh, just like play a spell up here, just kind of continue getting through the uh, spell shield whenever possible. Let's play a Morsel. I think the health is, is more beneficial down there. I think the damage is more beneficial up here. We'll freeze a card. It was a Morsel. We need our high damage spells, but the spell shield is making it annoying to get through these uh, these guys, but we knew that was gonna be the case. We could descend <laughs> and make you take another turn to get up. Um, I don't think that's that good though, but it's funny. Anyways, we need more. Okay. I really don't mind killing a train steward, but we're gonna pl be playing morsels anyways. I think you have to go. This doesn't give us draw, but I still think you have to go. Then we'll at least get energy. You're taking five damage now, fantastic. Um, damage shield. Play you there, play you there. I'm really tempted to cave in somewhere, but I don't wanna fill this floor full of these garbage minions that don't really do all that much for me, you know? It's funny to make you take another turn to get up, but I mean, I still gotta, I gotta deal with you somehow. I can still play it for draw. Okay. <laughs> we're just, we're making it harder to kill this guy, but I still think this is okay. What's coming up next? A helical crystallis would be dynamite. Um, let's... I hate these guys. 
guys. These guys are so garbage. Um, let's ice one of these back minions, I suppose. We're gonna have so many morsels in hand and nothing to like do with them. Maybe we don't play the Atumbra Assaults. Maybe we just like play a morsel up here and then end turn. We have no more capacity to play anything else. Look, our pyre is gonna take a licking. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about that. Unless we get cave in again, so you know what? Let's try to pull out a cave in out of this. We did get an Atumbra Assault held over, which means I can kill one of these units if we want. Is it really worth caving in that guy? I, I don't think it is, because I want him to die out of the, like, outside of the floor of the Sycophants. I actually think we maybe cave in this floor so we can have a better chance of killing uh, the the units, since we have no tanks at the front anymore, but they're still gonna be, you know, making it up eventually. I'm not drawing my, my super spells. Anyways, let's play the... Let's play the morsels up here. Get them out of the way. Fantastic. Wonderful. One totem did die. Who would have thought the spell shield would be so annoying on this combat with these uh, alabaster guardians getting getting armored up thanks to the freaking fell here? My lord. Also, you're not dying, huh? So I really don't want to draw anymore since we don't have the energy for it. I don't want to encant on any other floor though. So I suppose... I suppose we'll just do it down here. Just to play more morsels. There you go. And you know what? You can, you can tank a hit. Please die for me. Die for me! So we lost our freezer. We took 40 damage. We're gonna take even more, and I mean, we might die on this floor, to be perfectly honest with you, because uh, this guy is just absolutely wrecking us. At least we have a Titan's Tooth, which will kill two units, but this guy is still going to do an absurd amount of damage to us. I think we can play Crucible Extension up here. I, I mean, I do want draw, and if we can get cave in, we can move everything down to buy ourselves more time. So you know, maybe you just go for the cave-in. But if you get cave-in, you can't play Titan's Tooth, but it's frozen so you can play it next turn anyways. Okay, so now you now you got me thinking. Now you got me thinking. How are we going to win? <laughs> How are we going to win? You gotta go down. We need better morsels though. No, we're gonna get three energy back. So we can play spells to draw Caven and then play Caven and then play more spells on this floor. Okay. Kinda want a crucible extension on this floor, but we, we gotta do it differently, don't we? They're gonna die anyways. You have two spell shield. I can actually hit you with spells and do damage to you, which is just ridiculously good. So let's play a, a Timber Assault on you, just to get this out of my hand and get, hopefully, to cave in. I can't draw! Okay, well, in that case, let's give you more health. Double lifesteal is insanely good. You know, might as well. We don't draw! The freaking thing died! Oh! <laughs> brain, what are you doing to me, Brain? What are you doing? What are you doing, Brain? I don't, I don't understand what you're doing and what you think you're doing. What you're doing is sucking up, though. You're sucking it up! Kill these guys. You're living, huh? You're all living? That's kind of dangerous. I 
we gonna live? He hit me four times. These guys are hitting four times every time they go up. I think the only way that I live is just trying my damnedest to kill Fell on the final wave. But we don't deal that much damage and we don't have enough lifesteal. We need more lifesteal morsels to really make that happen. I still think you cave in so that you can have a single good floor. Because you're going to hit the pyre. You're going to hit the pyre either two, either three times. You're going to hit the pyre three times, I think. I'm not running the math, but I think it's three. Yeah, it's three. Um... So we're gonna live. I still think you do this though. And we can we can build things on the floor. Ah, uh, but you know what? These units are gonna get pushed to the back when they cave in, don't they? You know. So you're gonna get moved to the back. We could still draw a card. But really, I, I'm just focused, I think, right now on killing Fell on final wave. I think it's the only way that we, we survive. So you know what? Let's. Move everyone down. Welcome to the floor. You're dead, which is absurdly fantastic. It means I can actually play other cards. <laughs> um, you have spell shield, which sucks. You're healing by a lot, which sucks. Um, nothing we can do about that. I hate that you, you have 50 armor? Okay, the plus five plus five is pretty good. Then double up on the health, then more health. I really wanted lifesteal, don't even play it. It's not even final wave, god damn it. So we're, we're dead, there's no way that we can survive even a single, well no, we can survive one hit but not two. Um, so yeah, we are, we're dead in this end turn. If that was final wave, I think we had a chance, but without it being final wave, we're toast. So really, we just needed more offense. We needed some way of killing the minions, the, the big tanky minions as they moved up. We had AOE crowd control. We had the ability to uh, kill the, the, the weak support units, but the spell shield meant that all of my good damage spells were just worthless. We kind of got a little bit countered there. We got screwed on five spell shield guardians that we couldn't kill. <laughs> even with the multi-hitting spells, we just didn't get them fast enough, even through our card draw. I kind of feel a little bit screwed on that one, honestly. Um, what could we have done differently? We, we just needed better multi-hitting units. The question is, I don't know where we get those from. You know, we didn't find the, uh, the construct that has 25 times two base damage, that would have been fantastic. We didn't find, well, I guess we didn't have a uh, money for multi-strike or a good unit to put multi-strike on. Like we just, didn't, we just didn't get good units. We didn't find any good units. That being said, Umbra focuses heavily on tanking. Their champion, big tank, big hitter eventually with the gorge. Uh, the Crucible Warden, the Crucible Collector, tanks, the uh, the Construct. Kind of the highest damage dealing unit outside of Shadow Siege, but still a tank. You know, we, I don't know what we needed there, but we needed to find that alloyed Construct or just good high damage uh, Stygian Guard units, which don't really exist. You know, you get good Encant synergies off of them, but that's it. So I don't really know what we could have done there. I think that I think that Umbra Stygian is pretty difficult due to the ability to not have good high damage dealing units without having that construct. I think that, that's my that's my opinion. That's my assumption. But I tried, man. I tried. I I went a little bit weird with uh, with some of the choices, especially two offering monuments. But I tried to make it work. I tried. <laughs>